Hi everyone! Today we are going to talk about dwarf tomatoes. I've already told you about some of them in previous videos, but you know, tomatoes are like best friends, you can never have too many of them. Tomato Express is on its way. Take your seats, we are getting started. Today's review opens with a dwarf with the beautiful and sweet name Chocolate Champion. This rather tall dwarf with wrinkled foliage of the regular type proves its name and for a dwarf its height is almost champion. By midsummer the plants were 3 feet 11 inches or 1.2 meters tall. The tomatoes are beautiful, flat round, chocolate colored with dark shoulders that gradually disappear as they ripen. And this color they definitely owe to one of their parents, the Cherokee chocolate tomato. I was completely satisfied with the size of the fruit, which weighed between 7.6 and 11 ounces, or 217 and 307 grams. The flesh looks beautiful, bead brick color with a noticeable red spot in the center and greenish shades in the seed cavities. And of course, from Chocolate Champion, I expected sweetness in the first place. While tasting it, I felt a noticeable berry aftertaste. But in my case, sweetness was not too much. That is, the taste was ok, but at the same time, if you compare it to other tomatoes of a similar type, I would probably give preference to Wild Fred, in which the flavor accents are more pronounced. Who knows, maybe in other conditions and on different soil, chocolate champion would be better. After all, a true champion is afraid of losing, everyone else is afraid of winning. Another cute one is called Dwarf DSB, bred by Dean Slater, and probably the letters D and S in its name stand for Dean Slater, because there is also Dwarf DSA, for example, which I am growing this season. In my outdoor conditions the plants have reached a height of about 3 feet 4 inches or 1 meter. The tomatoes themselves are medium-sized by colors and beautifully painted, light yellow with bright red stripes. In fact, there are not many such dwarfs, so I decided to grow it. The fruits were not too large and weighed from 6 to 7 ounces or 173 to 200 grams, but even this is quite good for such low plants. Inside the tomatoes are orange-pink in color, the flesh is juicy and marmalade, and after taking my first bite I immediately realized that DSB was another tasty dwarf tomato. Despite the fact that bicolors of such shades are usually dominated by sweetness, in the case of these tomatoes the taste was complex with an excellent combination of sweetness and tartness. To be honest, I didn't even expect that the DSB would be so good, but now I can easily say that this is a tomato that you want to eat raw, which means that it is definitely worth growing. The name of the next tomato is related to the gem, all because of its coloring, Dwarf Emerald Giant. Originated from a cross made by Patrina Noski Small and selected and named by Craig Laholia, it is a dwarfed version of Green Giant Tomato, which by the way is very praised for its taste. The plant is powerful with a beautiful, wrinkled, literally velvet potato leaf, which I consider a real gem. At the same time it is quite compact, only a little more than 3 feet 4 inches or 1 meter in height. The fruits are flat round, ribbed, green and quite large. At full ripeness pinkish hues appear as well, so you don't have to determine its ripeness solely by touch, which is very convenient when growing green when ripe varieties. The weight of the tomatoes also pleased me and it was from 7 to 11 ounces or 203 to 314 grams. On the cut they are really emerald, light green in color and quite dense. On the flavor everything is in a good combination. A refreshing tomato aroma with sweetness and nice acidity and lots of juice. I was hoping for a good experience with this variety and I was not mistaken. Fans of grain fruited tomatoes will definitely appreciate the taste of dwarf emerald giant. Plus that potato leaf, well how can you resist? Ok, this variety is already familiar to many 
and it is called Dwarf the Thong Tomato, bred by Blaine Horton. Although it is certainly not the first thing you see on Google for the thong. For a dwarf tomato, the variety is quite tall, its graceful stems having grown to about 3 feet 11 inches or 1.2 meters by midsummer. The fruits are medium sized and quite pretty dark cherry color with green stripes and anthocyanin flecks, which makes them very similar to Blood Moon, which is also reviewed on my channel. Tomatoes were not large and weighed from 6 to 8 ounces or 180 to 215 grams, but there were quite a lot of them, and also I hoped that they would surprise me in taste. The flesh is unusual, pale pink in color with greenness in the seed cavities. The flavor is clearly dominated by acidity pleasant and a barely noticeable sweetness. I think that Dwarf the Thong is not for those who like just sweet tomatoes, and in this case it's better to choose for example Dwarf Adelaide Festival, but for those who like tomato tartness it's quite suitable. Dwarf Summertime Gold Its author is David Lockwood of Australia. Although it seems that the name of the variety is because tomatoes usually grow in summer, it's not that simple. In fact, the breeder's daughter's name is Summer, I think that's a great name, and David named two varieties of dwarf tomatoes after her, Summertime Green and Summertime Gold. By the way, the same person gave us the famous Grubs Mystery Green Tomato. Plants with potato foliage and for dwarfs are not the lowest, about 4 feet 3 inches or 1.3 meters tall. Despite the disappointing weather, especially given the July hail, the variety showed a fairly high yield, although it did not ripen early, so the plants need good support. Almost all of the fruits were about the same size and weighed between 6 to 9 ounces or 216 to 250 grams. The tomatoes are a very sunny color, bright, almost white, light and beautiful, juicy and at the same time dense. I don't often grow tomatoes this light in color, so I was curious to try them. The flavor turned out pretty good, tart and sweet, with berry undertones, and reminded me of Adelaide Festival and Wild Fred, even though they are completely different tomatoes in color. All in all, Summertime Gold is another good dwarf for which we can thank David Lockwood. Unfortunately, he left this world at a very young age, which of course is very sad. And I will add a couple of words about the Dwarf Baronia tomato. A beautiful and compact plant about 3 feet 4 inches or 1 meter high, which unfortunately I did not pay much attention to during the filming, bears dark cherry colored fruits, and that's what I would like to talk about in more detail. The first harvested tomatoes weighed 10.6 ounces or 303 grams, and I think this is a good result. It was still a mystery to me what Dwarf Baronia would taste like, but I was certainly pleased with what I saw in the cut. A beautiful tomato with a rich beet dark red color and a lot of seeds. Of course, I couldn't wait to try it. And in this case, there was clearly more sweetness than acidity. The tomato is very juicy and tasty, great for all kinds of processing and of course for eating raw. Good, sweet taste and incredibly beautiful color are the undoubted merits of Dwarf Baronia. And on that delicious note, today's review has quietly come to an end. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, and I will try to continue to show you such a diverse and boundless world of tomatoes. Thanks for watching and of course, love tomatoes, grow tomatoes. This is the Lucky Garden channel and see you soon.